The non-oxidative phase of the pentose phosphate pathway involves two important enzymes, transketolase and transaldolase. In the previous lecture, we focused on the reaction mechanism of transketolase. In this lecture, we're going to discuss the reaction mechanism of transaldolase. Now, unlike transketolase, which basically catalyzes the movement of a two-carbon component, two-carbon group, we see that transaldolase actually catalyzes the transfer of a three-carbon molecule known as dihydroxyacetone. And unlike transketolase that uses a cofactor molecule known as thiamine pyrophosphate, we'll see in this lecture that transaldolase does not actually use that cofactor thiamine pyrophosphate. Instead, what it does is it forms a shift base between the catalytic lysine residue in the active side of the enzyme and the incoming keto substrate molecule. So to see exactly what we mean, let's actually take a look at the details of the reaction mechanism. So this is the portion of the lysine residue found in the active site of the enzyme. And this, the, uh, and, and this is the incoming substrate molecule. So remember, we have two substrate molecules. This is one of them in this step, and this is the second one in this step. So we have the keto substrate molecule. And in this particular case, the keto substrate that we're going to look at is the ceroheptulose 7-phosphate. So in the first step, we basically have the formation of that shift base. And once these two react, we basically form this molecule. In the process, we actually kick off a water molecule. So these two H ions and this oxygen basically combine to form a water molecule and we form a double bond between this nitrogen and this carbon here. So this is carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, four, five, six, and seven. And so we form a bond between the nitrogen and carbon number two on this incoming keto substrate molecule. So this is what we call a shift base. And a shift base is ultimately a connection between the enzyme molecule and this substrate. So this is an enzyme substrate intermediate molecule. Now, in the next step, we basically have a protonation taking place. So this nitrogen, which contains two electrons, basically grabs an H plus ion, and that forms a sigma bond between the nitrogen and the H ion. In the process, we also generate a full positive charge on this nitrogen. And so what happens in the next step is to essentially remove that full positive charge from the nitrogen, we have a rearrangement taking place in which this entire component is actually kicked off. So what happens is, so if this is carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have this sigma bond between the H and the oxygen basically breaks that kicks off this H plus ion and that forms a pi bond between this oxygen and this carbon. In the process, we break the sigma bond between carbon three and carbon four and that sigma bond is used to form a pi bond between carbon two and carbon three. And then that actually breaks this pi bond and those two electrons in the pi bond end up on this nitrogen. And we form this stable molecule. In the process, we also kick off and we generate the four carbon molecule, the aldose product, in this case, the erythrose four phosphate. So we have carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, that we basically find here. And so the pi bond that is formed between the oxygen here and the carbon here is basically this pi bond here. So this is actually one of the two products that will be formed in this particular transaldolase reaction. Now, this molecule is stable, and it's stable until the second substrate molecule actually enters the reaction. And so we have the second substrate molecule, an aldose substrate. In this case, we're going to use glycerol, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, the same molecule that we used when we discussed the non-oxidative phase of the pentose phosphate pathway. So what happens is, 
So this same H plus ion that was basically kicked off is now used in this particular reaction. And so what we see happen is these two electrons on the nitrogen basically form a pi bond between this nitrogen and this carbon. And that breaks this pi bond here. And that pi bond acts as a nucleophile. It basically attacks the carbon, forms a sigma bond between this carbon here and this carbon here. And what that also does is breaks this pi bond. And the pi bond is used to pick up this H ion. And so once this addition reaction takes place, we form the following, the following intermediate. Now, when going from this molecule to this molecule, we had a protonation. And now we have a deprotonation. So we essentially kick off the H plus ion, and those two electrons in the sigma bond that is broken end up on this nitrogen. And in the final step, we basically have a hydrolysis reaction take place. And in the end, we produce the final product, the fructose 6-phosphate, which is our ketose product molecule. So we have product one, the erythrose 4-phosphate, that's the aldose, and then we have product two, the fructose 6-phosphate, that's the ketose product. So these are the two products that are formed. These are the two reactions that are actually used and notice that unlike the transketolase the transaldolase differs in two ways number one is it transfers a three carbon component not the two carbon component so it transfers the dihydroxy acetone so this structure here has one two three carbons and two hydroxyl groups, one and two. And so that's why we call this structure a dihydroxy acetone. And it ultimately came from the first product molecule and this dihydroxy acetone is transferred onto the second product of uh, the second substrate molecule so this is uh, substrate number one and substrate number two and so we have the transfer of this dihydroxy acetone from one of the substrates to the other substrate and so we form these two product molecules and unlike in the transketolase case which use the thiamine pyrophosphate cofactor molecule. In this particular case, we don't use that cofactor molecule. Instead, we use, we create that shift-based molecule that we discussed in this particular step.